Well, so much for surfing this morning. That suits me all right. I have a lot of editing to do. Like I said, I need to get, uh, I think I need to edit like six more episodes, something like that. Six more episodes and then we'll be good for Baja. So I uh, put on my woolly socks, got my long johns on. I'm gonna cuddle up here on the table and just get some work done. Clocking some long hours editing here. I think I've got uh, four episodes done. My eyes are like really sore. Right now I'm editing uh, the episodes where Sam was here. And I still had the camera, so it means I'm color grading and uh, like there's a lot more editing to do and there's a lot of content in each episode. So it's very intensive. I'm very proud of all of these episodes. Like I think they're the best I've filmed yet, but um, it's just a lot of work. <laughs> So I took a couple breaks while I was doing, while I was rendering, stuff like that, just waiting. And uh, I set up some stuff out back, so check this out. So I finally installed my cheap little light relocation kit and license plate relocation kit, just to uh, be more compliant with the laws and, and make sure people can see my stoplights. You can kind of see it around the motorcycle, but you could argue that you kind of can't, so I just like to play it safe. And I also installed the surfboard on the back. It's just kind of a temporary location. I'm still gonna figure it out, just like the bike and the motorbike. I just, you know, trial by error, figure it out. All right, as you can tell, my hair's a little wet. I did go into the ocean just for a minute, just to try out the surfboard. I couldn't help myself, didn't film it because, anyway, got some good editing today. I'm not so happy with that storage spot for the surfboard. I don't think that is a good idea permanently because I'm pretty sure eventually it will damage the board, so. I gotta find somewhere else. It's very sturdy there though, so it's super tempting. I'd, maybe if I can find a way to make it not hit other things and get dented and cracked, then maybe I'll go for it, but uh, gonna need some jimmy rigging, some building. I'm gonna take a little walk with Champ here. Oceanside, let's do it. Side. It's just unfortunately because of uh, internet being so dodgy in Baja, it was mostly editing. <laughs> but I got a lot of work done. I got a lot, a lot of work done. Got the money sorted out, almost got the insurance done, surfboards ready, wetsuits good. Yeah, we're pretty much good and we're only a couple hours away from picking up uh, Sarah at the airport. So, very exciting. I'm just gonna drive down to San Diego now. Let's do this.
to San Diego. I thought uh, since we're running about an hour and a half early, we'll just stop by here at Mission Bay, which is another one of those really popular van dweller spots in the Southern California area. Just a big parking lot, really beautiful, a little park. Actually, I was here last year too. It's kind of weird for me when I get somewhere that I've been before because I, I don't do that very often, it feels like. Especially the last little while, it's like seeing an old friend almost. Jam's pumped. We're gonna go for a little walk, aren't we, buddy? Jam, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Having a quick little dinner and I want to illustrate a point that I've learned about van dwelling and RV life in general. If you're an omnivore like I am and you like all the meats and all the things and all the fruits and veggies, the most economical and easiest way to like get meat into your diet, honestly, sausages. Good quality sausages, you can put them in pretty much anything. They resist the temperature fluctuations of these crappy fridges. They're, they can be frozen and then cooked after and they're totally fine. They can be cooked over an open fire, which is so nice. Honestly, sausages, sausages, sausages. I can put them in everything and I, I just love it. So like compared to all the other meats, I've tried keeping fish, I've tried keeping ground beef, steak, pork, chicken, the lot. The one that is easiest to work with, sausage. It's very good too. Big fan of sausage. And then otherwise I just like load up with veggies and fruits obviously because it's super cheap down here and you might as well and it's good to have a small amount of stock and, and with fruits and veggies you can buy as much as you want, you know, so you can buy very small amounts and totally fine. So sausage penne marinara should be good. Zine SLV. Champ, not your Zine. Get the fuck out. His mooching skills are on point. T minus. One hour. Sarah arrives. I'm very excited. Champ doesn't know he's excited, but he is. About something. I'm at the airport now, I'm trying to find Sarah. Looking for a little girl and a lot of bags, probably, knowing Sarah. This should be fun, you know? She's the bougie boo sister, and now she's gonna try the van life. Should be interesting. For you guys, anyway, at least. Gotta get it, get it, open up the back door and get in here. Oh, forgot to move some stuff. Shit, I'm sorry. This is like so much junk. Yeah, well, it's all firewood. All right. Hi! You made it. I made it! I'm so happy to be here. Hello, Amy. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm so excited. Are you as excited as Champ is right now? Because he's 
I don't Pretty know. Pretty spectacularly excited. <laughs> so happy to see you. Yes. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened here? I got the snap. Oh, yeah, somebody smashed my window. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I don't know, the universe is weird. Got a bit of a risky campsite tonight. I'm up at uh, Fiesta Island. And I was trying to look it up online because, I mean, they do say you can't uh, park there overnight. But there's a lot of rigs here. It seems like a lot of people park here overnight. Um, I feel like there's just like some tension between... This is like one of those scenarios where something is illegal, but everyone does it. And just like often I've come into certain areas where something is legal, but nobody does it. And I get in trouble for doing a legal thing. Um, it really depends on who's going to work security tonight. So if a security guy is a guy guard comes by and tells us to move then we will but uh it's a really nice spot and i kind of want to just chill out here and there's like 30 other rigs in the parking lot so i think we'll probably be good good night everyone i'll let you know if we get kicked out but if this is the end of the video then we did so like no cliffhanger okay just chill <laughs>